Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. We have justice. Yes, I love to see that. Circumstances are shifting in your favor. So this solar eclipse is bringing a shift, which we already know that, okay? Things are going to shift because of this solar eclipse. Things are going to change. There could, there could be sudden changes, unexpected changes, um, things happening out of the blue. Um, it says the scales are being balanced and there will be justice for those who have wronged you in the past. So people are getting what the fuck they deserve, okay? We have detachment. So it says break down your walls. You're losing touch with the world and not giving yourself a chance to discon disconnect. See, I feel like I was already getting with detachment, like, because this card actually talks about you guys being a little bit too closed off, a little bit too guarded, a little bit too detached. But with this, I'm feeling like you guys are cutting off some people that deserve to get cut off, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys have maybe been holding on to some people and attached to some people that don't deserve you in that way, okay? Some people that have actually done you dirty who have wronged you, okay? We have recognition, the spotlight is on you, so you're about to get a lot of attention, okay? Um, you're also going to be accomplishing some goals here. You're going to be getting the recognition that you deserve. The I heard vindicated. You're going to be vindicated. Um, success. You fought a good fight, yeah. You have balance. More energy of like justice energy. Balance is being restored. You're harnessing a level of self-mastery. And possibly even reinventing yourself after finding your personal power through your own struggles. We have support. Someone will come into your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you. Okay. Who's this person that's coming in to support them? We have diversion. So... It says it's okay to change your mind and move in a different direction. What is brewing will change the course of your life. So maybe you guys are suddenly changing that you thought life was going in one direction or you thought you wanted one thing and now maybe you're going to be changing your mind. Yeah. You'll know when it's time. So you guys are maybe headed down a different path. Yeah. Rivalry. Ooh, somebody's not happy. You will encounter competition that will force you to stay ahead of the game. Remember, they are not your enemies. Let it make you stronger and transform. In so they're jealous ass people around you. But Spirit says, um, use that envy as healthy motivation. We have busy B. So I also feel like if you guys have been feeling very overwhelmed, like you guys have had a lot going on, it's like that's going to be kind of balancing out. Like you guys are going to be... Um, not feeling as overwhelmed with all that you have to do. Okay, it says expect, but it says expect to be busy. It might get difficult to balance your personal life and work. See, isn't that crazy how these two cards are coming out together? Balance in this card literally says it's, it's been hard for you to balance personal life and work. Spirit says that's been changing for some of you. You have somebody that's going to come in and help you with this support energy. Some of you guys have been feeling overburdened. Like you're doing it. You have to do everything by yourself. You don't have any help. You don't have any support. That's going to be changing. You're going to have somebody, people or somebody coming into your life that's going to be like lighten your load in some way okay it says but if you cut off distractions and any unnecessary drama you'll handle it like a queen so you guys are eliminating anybody that you, you're like you're like i'm already stressed and i already got a lot going on i don't need anybody in my life or around me or anything in my life that's going to add to that so i see like you guys are going to be eliminating those things and it's going to bring about more balance look at this breakthrough there's an unexpected breakthrough happening in some area of your life fate events unexpected messages shocking love developments anything can happen so yeah um, some of you guys have new love coming in. You guys have an, or you have like several people coming towards you wanting to offer their love to you. Give me one more card on breakthrough. Action. So it says no more overthinking. You're breaking the cycle of inaction. So maybe there's something where you haven't been taking action on something, but you're going to finally be taking action on it. Like the, this eclipse is pushing you to do that. Um, Getting something done, you will set your plans in motion and realize action is the only way to move forward. And some of you guys are going to be feeling better too. Yeah, expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. All right, yeah, you guys got travel here. We got stability, things happening behind the scenes for your highest good or to bring things together um, for you. Um, yeah. It's like something that you guys have decided. What is this decision energy perspective? So you guys, are, it says you realize that there's only one thing you can change your perspective and find peace and knowing that what you endured has purpose, even if you do not understand it yet. 
Well, we do have reconciliation and regret here. So you guys may have somebody coming towards you that wants to, to reconcile with you that's in regret. Yeah, baby, this feels like they've missed a chance with you. Um, yeah, an old love interest will come back wanting to reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say. If, if it's, it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. But something's not right. What's up with this reconciliation offer? Ending. Yeah. Something will, come, something will come to an end that must take place where you can free yourself to move forward. Let go of what was. Celebrate the good and forgive the bad. It's all part of the journey. So, yeah, and we have forgiveness. You'll finally get over something or someone. So, you guys are finally putting the final nail in the coffin in a situation with somebody. Yeah, the past here on the back of the deck is somebody that you have history with. You'll find you're finally getting over something or someone, and though it wasn't easy, you will ultimately forgive and move your move on to peacefully set yourself free. Yeah, you disconnected from somebody here. Yeah, the, a situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business. It's like somebody's coming back around, but like it's just so that it's like because you didn't somebody had unfinished business. Yeah, and we'll have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. I don't know. I, I this person may come back around. And you guys may just kind of like not just leave it as it is. Like okay, oh they sent me a message. I'm gonna just let it sit there for a while. Type of energy. But you're, it says you're gonna receive good news when the, it says that will make you happy. When the time comes, it will change your life for the better. So give me one more card about are they ending things with this past person or is something beginning? Was there already an ending between you and this person? What's happening with this past energy? So it says, you are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Trade knowing for curiosity. It says, you'll one day, did you teach this person a lesson? Like they're finally learning their lesson or something? What's up with this person, whoever this is? Yeah, we have self-love. You're showing this person what true self-love looks like. Your focus will be on putting yourself first and showing yourself the love you've been longing for because there's a, there's a desire to shift and rise up to something more meaningful. So I feel like some of you guys have been more focused on your purpose. So I feel like you guys are kind of choosing yourself or you've been choosing yourself. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do see or marriage, get breaking free. It's like if this is somebody you've been going through a repeating cycle with, I see that because you're about to give birth to something new. So the rep repeating cycle is ending. So maybe that's what needs to come to an end, a repeating cycle, a karmic cycle that you've been going through with somebody. Things need to be done differently or things need to change um, so that there can be progress because there is ind indicators here of things being able to move forward now because you were repeating the same story with this person, but there was a need to set boundaries, speak up for yourself, do things differently, which maybe you guys have been doing that and it's leading to marriage actually, an engagement or something being taken to the next level because you've been breaking free from some unhealthy patterns um, you have a new level of self-awareness. Maybe they have as well. What is the energy of whoever this past person is? What is their energy? What is the energy of this past person? Soul tribe. So this person could be a soulmate or a part of your soul family. Okay. If you've been feeling isolated or with few connections in the world, cheer up. You're about to find your soul companions and form true connections with people with who, which will be built on trust and love. So some of you guys... Um, some of you guys maybe feel like you don't have a whole lot of family or you don't have like a support system, but that's going to be changing. Like you have like a, some of you, it's a new person. You guys are going to be building a home together, building a family together. You're going to be each other's family. Okay. But it says love is yours to take. This person on your mind is going to make a romantic gesture. If it's a person on your mind, it's, it could be a newer person that you haven't like really had too much to go on between the two of you yet. Or it's a person you already know because it says your love life is about to take off. A new romantic offer, even several offers are coming your way. Don't let the past hold you back. It's it's kind of like, what about the past? Like, should they not take this? I don't understand yet. Signs. What about the past? Happiness. You're entering a period of happiness and leaving dark times behind you. I don't know. It could be that they're telling you to not take this person back or they're telling you that you're going to have to kind of like, if you want things to work out with this person, you're going to have to forgive. Like, you're going to have to let go of the past, not hold that grudges, things like that. So let's see. Um, what's up here? All right, so we have the Empress. Love that. All right. We have the Six of Pentacles. Why do I feel like you guys have people, a person or people coming in that's going to want to pamper you, 
take care of you type energy. Like they're going to want to give to you, have like a reciprocal balance connection with you. We have the Ace of Swords. Yeah. And the King of Pentacles. So you guys could be hearing from a Taurus or some of you guys are going to be hearing from an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Clarify the Empress. The Star. I'm telling you, you guys are healing. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Energy. Clarify Six of Pentacles. You're getting your wish fulfillment because you're in that vibration. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. You guys have month. What is it? Somebody, it's like if somebody's going through a financial loss. Or you guys have been struggling financially. You didn't feel like you had enough money for something. Or you just feel like kind of depleted because you've been dealing with like a lot of takers. That's going to be changing. There's somebody here that wants to give to you. Like support you financially for some of you. Yeah, look at this. Nine of Cups. There's some type of breakthrough that's leading to what you've been wishing for. Whatever it is you've been wishing for. Or feeling like you've been lacking or whatever this is. Or like maybe not even like lacking um but just what you wish that you had like it's like you you don't feel like you need it but it would be nice you know it would be nice if i had that in my life or it'd be nice but i feel like you're gonna get it what about this king of pentacles ace of cups look at this guys you have like a new beginning in love with a possibly an earth sign here yeah yep this person may be a business owner they're very stable they're very mature they got their shit together why is the high priestess on the back of the deck though this could, this doesn't even have to be romantic for some of you. With the Ace of Cups, it looks like it. Okay, we have the High Priest or the high, yeah, the High Priestess, the Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. You may find out. You, some of you guys all may also get the truth about something that was withheld from you, kept from you. Like you're going to be acquiring some knowledge about something that was kept secret from you, held back from you, possibly about a third party or about a friend. All right, yeah, somebody's maybe going to come in and tell you this. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, the Hanged Man, the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is realizing that somebody's perspective has changed. Didn't that new perspective card come out? Somebody is realizing that they should have invested in you. They should have like, came, they should have supported you or they should have invested in you because it would have led to a lot of victory and success. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> give me a few more of these. We have the four of swords. Okay. The devil. Somebody is healing from something toxic or they're withdrawing from something toxic. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Five of Swords. What is that about? The Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in to fight with you or have some type of conflict with you or something. Why? The Sun. What about the Sun? The Moon. Something is coming to light. I'm telling you. Somebody is about to rush in to tell you the truth about something. Something that was hidden. Let's see. The page of cups. Maybe they're coming in to tell you the truth about. You could get the truth as a result of this um, eclipse. You could be getting the truth about something. Um, somebody coming in to apologize to you. Something came to light, or it will be coming to light. Okay. What? About, maybe they. Somebody maybe even tell you that they've withdrawn from something toxic. What is? It? Or maybe somebody's doing a lot of thinking about you, a lot of obsessing about you. What is the devil in the four of swords? The knight of pentacles. Somebody that's been moving very slowly because they're healed. They're trying to conquer some type of addiction or. Mm, something toxic attachment moving very slowly the strength card in the ten of wands somebody has the strength to finally release something here so they've been they've been taking their time with withdrawing from something toxic but now maybe with this solar eclipse they're gonna feel like they have the strength to finally release something that's been very burdensome this could also be you guys that's been having a hard time releasing somebody that you have a toxic relationship with you've been feeling very attached to so what does this mean for my collective we have the two of pentacles the nine of wands. Eh. Let's see. And the six of wands. Okay. What about the six? I feel like somebody, um, yeah. What about the three of cups? So the high priestess. Yeah. The three of cups, the high priestess, and the five of wands. I don't know. You may end up getting into a fight with somebody here because what's the six of wands though? The two of wands. You guys don't, you're I kind of see you being at a crossroads because. I definitely see you in this guarded energy towards this person. Weighing your options, three of cups. This person was keeping a secret from you from you about a third party. I just see there being like maybe like a, a um 
or you think this person is hiding from you that they do have options or that they've been trying to put you in competition there's just this energy here of like you guys not being apprehensive about somebody yeah page of pentacles somebody wanted a new opportunity with to have this relationship with you wanting stability with you at seven of cups and the seven of wands you feel like there's like there's like confusion or you feel like there's an illusion or something like that when it comes to the situation let's take a deeper look what is this what else do they need to know about this um hmm i'm not even so sure that this is a um love situation i mean it, it looks like it is but have cut out so i'm telling you somebody is getting cut off yeah or has been already you've already been in separation from somebody it's best to part ways to heal okay what does that do with my collective though we have good choices so somebody this the, oh i can't talk the divine is saying that it was a good choice to cut somebody out yeah, expect a positive outcome from the good choice you have made in the past oh so this is somebody that you already made the choice to cut ties with in the past you walked away from this person you called it quits you moved on you severed ties with them you closed a chapter with them so now what's happening and you got you're but you've been in alignment yeah so things are actually moving forward yeah yeah we have momentum keep the momentum going whether big or small steps keep pushing for what you want it has been really hard for you to to, to remain detached from whoever this person is but spirit says keep going even if you've been making you feel like you've been making small progress big progress still progress spirit the same keep pushing for what you want we have bullseye nothing will get in the way yeah so what you desire what you want spirit says nothing will get in the way of it focus no distractions set on you see what is that about maybe somebody else has made the decision to cut off something what is it for my collective fireworks yeah feelings full of fiery sparks love who is this who is this person that you're gonna have this you have this instant connection with see hidden secrets careful of superficial appearances or making decisions without all the facts act with discernment yeah, it's like this energy of somebody coming towards you, wanting this new beginning in love with you, offering you something, saying that they only want you, they don't have anybody else, they're not playing games, they're serious about you, that and like they're wanting to actually like progress a relationship with you. And spirit saying that maybe they already said this to you before, I don't know, but spirit is saying that you need to have a careful approach with this person, use discernment. What's the 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 truth of the situation? It says your time is now, though. You're at the right place at the right time. You have to do what you're meant to do. For what? What is, what is it the time for this relationship? We have ascension. You're shifting from one reality to a higher vibrational reality. Time to sort of new heights, thriving, increase, and take off. So what does that mean for whatever this relationship is or whatever the situation is? So you will receive a message from someone. Somebody may be ready to take things to the next level with you. Or somebody's going to finally speak up and say something to you. Yeah, conquering. We have victory will be yours. This is very similar to the, the twin flame reading I did yesterday. Set your intention and watch it come back to you. So you guys like maybe prayed for something. You set the intention for something. You you detect, you know, you're like, it, it isn't what it, what I want it to be right now. But maybe, maybe in the future it will be. But for right now, I got to detach from this, focus on other things. There's some type of blockage to something that you wanted. Spirit says the path is now clear. It says the path before you is clear. Your desires and intentions are supported by the universe. Yeah, the blocks have been cleared in a situation. Gateway to gifts. It says keep doing what you're doing. You will, your goodwill will come back to you tenfold. Remember, we had justice. Yep, generosity, windfall, and trade off. So you guys have accumulated some good karma here through your generosity. We have clean up. Yep, owning the mess to clean up. Healthy choices, prioritizing positive light changes, accountability, releasing burdens. Yeah, poor choices. Somebody feels like they didn't make some good choices and now they got to clean up their mess. Yep. Somebody's going to try to recover a connection with you. That's what I feel. Yeah, shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from the ashes even more powerful. Yeah, somebody's returning here to clean up a mess. But we this already came out earlier. I forget what the part says in the other deck, but it says repetition. Sometimes in order to move forward, you must repeat situations in order to learn important lessons. Why do I feel like this is somebody that went back to something? It's like, didn't I say that somebody has learned their lesson finally, or they're about to? It's like somebody has realized they made a mess. They made some bad choices. And they're about to come back to try to fix things. 
Yeah, but spirit, and I, but I see that you guys are going to be very guarded about repeating a cycle with this person. You do not want to go through what you went through with this person before. Needing time to feel secure, cautious, worry, protected, holding back, watchful, defensive, reserved, and distant. Mountains. It will not be an easy path. Blocks, setbacks, delays, big problems, hardship. Yeah, and we have aligned. I like you. Coming close to the falling in love. I don't know. You in this? You're, it's like I see you kind of like slowly time to reset your mindset to thrive it's like you guys are going to be in like this survival like hyper independent energy when it comes to the, whoever this person is because and they're going to be wanting to like spend time with you giving you a lot of attention chasing after you or whatever wanting to take you on dates and yeah this is possibly a divine connection somebody you're supposed to be with you guys were definitely meant to come into each other's lives to trigger spiritual growth but like, it's not going to be easy with this person or it's going to be like slow progress or it's going to be like, it's just this person did a lot to you. So I don't, I don't see you guys a hundred percent rejecting this person, but I see you guys like taking something very slow with somebody like slowly, maybe letting somebody back into your life, depending on how they, they move, how they act. Yeah. Slow progress, little wins, small advances, starting small, no hurry, dragging their feet. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take some time to grow. Exactly. Because you still see them as who they used to be. It's going to be hard. But look, we have support here again. So it says, well, but it's like something about the way that this person, the energy they're going to be in now, they're going to want to help you. They're going to want to support you. They're going to want to be there for you. They're going to, it's like, they're going to be in a different energy, which is going to lead to them, you being able to trust them again. Um, we have two, 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 two on the, ca the camera that I saw. But it says, we'll overcome issues at hand, have secret help, helpful care, helping each other, yet rescue, give, favor, lending a hand. So yeah, commitment. Yeah, commit to this next stage. And you're so it's this person is going to be showing you with their actions um, that they're serious about you, which maybe they never did that before. Yep, we have epiphany. Somebody's realizing something here. Get out of your own way. Somebody's realizing that they've been getting in their own way. Discard your projected outcomes and allow yourself to see beyond. Yeah, it's, it's you're going to have to see beyond some type of hurtful events that happened in the past to be able to start a new chapter in love. If you want, you don't have to, you have free will. You don't have to be with this person, but it's like there will be progress within a connection that you once wanted, but you're going to have to see if you can get past how this person hurts you. So that's going to be spe specific to the individual, specific to the individual.